So hey everyone, uh, we had a snow day last week so we weren't able to record the weekly update. We've had a lot going on since then. Last week Governor Mills introduced their supplemental budget, uh, has funding in there for education, making sure that property taxes are held in check, transportation funding, a whole host of things. And we'll be having work sessions uh, on all those uh, issues in the next coming weeks. Uh, but one of the things that I really wanted to talk quickly about was the rainy day fund which was uh, created in 1985 make sure that the state was putting forward money to uh, have in the case of a downturn in the economy. We are at an all-time high as far as the money that we put in there, which is you know a good thing. Hopefully we won't have any downturn, but we're making sure that we're planning uh, you know, for the unfortunate circumstance that it did happen. Senator Louise Vitelli had a retirement bill. Gaining an understanding and a control of your personal finances is often the cornerstone of personal freedom. Today, more and more retirees are trying to live on Social Security payments alone, and it is not enough. We had a big press conference on career and technical education across the state. These really great programs to help people become plumbers, pipe fitters, welders, and Senator Aaron Herbig put in a bill to increase the funding so that uh, all these programs would have updated equipment and, and to continue to teach our students uh, we rolled out Patients First health care bill. This year, we're tackling the greed in the health care industry by making sure our health care system works for everyone in Maine. Our Patients First health care package gives Mainers an advocate on their side when they go up against big insurance companies. It's about creating a medical billing system that works for us as patients. And protects Mainers from spending their life savings on life-saving medication four bills that are designed to put the patients obviously first, have somebody that is in their corner finally uh, going up against the healthcare industry. Senator Millett and myself testified on my legislation to expand child care. This is a major problem throughout the state and uh, something we're again very excited to go forward with. This bill is about making sure parents can go to work knowing their child is in safe hands. It's about laying the groundwork to end Maine's child care desert once and for all. Another major bill we had this week, uh, Senator Bellows has introduced emergency legislation to try and increase the rates for home health care workers. We have a real problem with uh, making sure that uh, the rates are enough for these agencies to survive, uh, have workers uh, go out and provide that critical care. Uh, you know, we know 100% that uh, keeping people in their homes is better, uh, obviously, for their own health. Uh, but financially for the state, and, and this is just a critical thing that uh, Senator Bellows has really stepped up to the plate and is going to make happen in this session. 